What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another Booster Epic review and training guide, right? So it is Monday morning and we are bright and early doing this video for you guys. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We have got Andrea Pirlo, we have got Rude Hollett, and of course we have Serginio as well completing that trio of booster legends right so this Pirlo lads I already said it last week when we did a preview of him and now that we have confirmation of his player levels we'll do a guide on him we'll show you exactly how to train him up there's actually going to be two versions of Pirlo we'll talk about a defensive minded Pirlo that's going to be very high rated and then we're going to talk about kind of an attacking midfielder slash CMF that's going to be a beast similar for Hullet as well Hullet I think is definitely suited for kind of being a very unique Bellingham-esque type player in attack and midfield, can pass, can dribble, can shoot, can do everything pretty much, and he has that physicality that is very unique to this game as well, where he's very tall, he's very strong, plus he's still very agile. Serginho then is going to be your defensive um, player, kind of defensive box-to-box, -box, or offensive box-to-box, -box, sorry, similar to kind of Enzo Fernandez is, um, and how I would play him. He's going to be getting into the box very often. He's not going to be defending too much for you, so he's going to be beside an anchorman. But we'll get into the training guides. I'll keep it short and sweet, as we like to do. So starting off with Pirlo, these are part of the Italian League midfielders box. And as you can see here, there is another 150 coins to, players to go through. They're going to cost you 100 coins or 900 coins for a 10 spin. And these are within these packs here. So straight off the rip, lads, you have got Pirlo level 37. <laughs> like, it's just insane, man. I mean, as I've said before, the only way is up now with the cards. So they do have to kind of make all these cards around 100 levels um, or 100 overall with maybe 30 plus levels to be able to have them you know usable at this stage in the game now i would potentially say wait until thursday and see what we do get um but definitely pirlo man of all the players here pirlo is going to be one of the most broken cards in the game i've no doubt in saying that it just depends how you train him up i think that there's a couple of things we're going to get into with this card but we are going to start with Serginho, right obviously the boring one out of the way first we have a training guide here for him over on eFootballDB. I'm actually going to hide my face to show you the full uh, booster effect here as well and to show you over on eFootballDB.com with the updated stats and the updated player levels, right? So this guy has actually got a lot of uh, player skills missing for a box-to-box. -box. He, In fact, he has no defensive um, skills whatsoever, right? So because of that, we're obviously going to keep him as an attacking midfielder slash CMF. Now, he can play left back as well. I'm not going to complicate things at the moment because unless you are a newcomer spinning for a guy like this, I, I don't really think you should be playing him left back. Um, left midfield, yes, you could play him left midfield, but he doesn't have that dribble and that those left midfielders need. I think the best position for him genuinely is through the middle. Now, he's got really good pace as well, so we'll show you that there. So we do have his build here, which is going to be 12 into passing, 5 into dribbling, 8 into dexterity and lower body, and then 6 into aerial strength and 5 into defending, right? Now, we don't want to upgrade his defending too much, but we also want to get that aggression as high as we can. We're going to have 90 speed and 88 stamina, and with the manager boost, um, and with the obviously booster boost that he's going to be getting, that is going to be an insane stat to have on a box-to-box. -box. Acceleration is going to be the same with the booster. Um, it's going to be really high. Balance is going to be into the 80s. Physical contact is going to be into the 80s. Kicking power is going to be into the 88s. It's a very nice card. Lofted pass and low pass are quite high for a player. His weakness is tight possession, obviously, and his defense. But other than that, it's a very solid box-to-box. -box. Would I actually spend coins on this guy and deliberately go out of my way to try and get him? No, I wouldn't. Obviously, you're going to be trying to spin for Pirlo. And if you do get him, he's not a bad consolation prize. But I do feel that he's definitely not in the top 20 box-to-box -box center midfielders. If you are especially taking into consideration some of the player of the weeks that have released and some of the featured, right? So moving on to Hullet, right? And we'll go through this short and sweet. We do have Hullet. With this build here, right? Now, if you guys would like a defensive build, I don't recommend Hullet. Sometimes I say, lads, right? Don't try to turn a player into something that he's not. Yes, you can get kind of like a monster style player where, you know, a Frankenstein type player will be able to turn into like an attacking midfielder into DMF and his stats would be insane. But it's not all about stats, man. These cards and these ways um, that you train up cards, it's not just about stats. It's not just about that shiny number up on the top left being as high as possible. And we'll show you that with Pirlo in a second, right? But this card here, if we go back to the actual, um, his player profile card in this game here, we will see that he's down as a creative playmaker. So what does creative playmaker mean? 
Well, he's going to be just coming a little bit more central with the ball. He's not really going to be bombing forward like a box-to-box. -box. And a creative playmaker is more of a guy that you want to pass the ball with. Pass and move or else pass in possession. That's kind of how you want to do it, right? Um, I am working on a couple of videos to show you the difference between the AI. Um, so we can get a look at that. But one touch pass, true passing. He doesn't have low lofted. So we've kind of just boosted up, even though he's getting the booster to jump and physical contact, balance and stamina. We're going to be boosting up his passing, his dribbling ability, and really just making the most out of this card. Now, the one thing I will say about Hullet Lads as a creative playmaker is because of his height and his actual physicality, with the way his player ID works in the game, even staying away from his defensive stats, this guy is an unbelievable to block the passing lanes. Just trust me, you do not really need to boost up his defense. He's so long, he's so agile, and a lot of the way that the game is kind of like coded and stuff, these tall players are just menaces in the middle of the pitch. Just trust me, you won't need to if you're looking for a defensive type build, but I would definitely say to do the build that I have got here, which is this. So you've got four into shooting, 11 into passing, nine into dribbling and dexterity, and then seven into lower body with three into aerial strength. It's a phenomenal card. You can see all the stats there. We're not even taking the booster into consideration, lads, to be honest with you. We're really not, because with the way the boosters are working at the moment, Sometimes I think it is placebo, man. I think it's more important to focus on where you want your, your player to be, get up his base core stats, really max out those and their abilities, and then see what player skills he has with the player ID that he's going to have, right? I'll get into a video on player ID because it seems to confuse a lot of people when I talk about it, right? So, but anyway, last but not least, we've got Pirlo. We're actually going to take a look at two different versions of Pirlo. If you've got any questions on Pirlo, I think this is one of the best cards in the game, but I think it's a very unique card that is going to be hard to train up and hard to do a training guide for based on, I think, a few things. The first thing is where you're going to play him in your squad, right? He's not an anchorman. He's not a destroyer. He's not even a whole player or a creative playmaker. He's an orchestrator, right? So an orchestrator is an even slower base player. That He is literally looking to dictate the play from a standing position. He's very, very immobile compared to some other players. Now, you can actually compensate for this. And this is what I'm talking about is turning into kind of like a Frankenstein type player with a couple of key stats, including tight possession and acceleration. But brilliant player skills, one touch pass, true pass, and low loft, the weight of the course. He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have a couple of others that I would have liked as well, like he doesn't have outside curler. Um, he does have long range shooting, but he doesn't have long range curler. So you're not going to be taking that many shots at him or area. I mean, me personally, I would be because I'm going to be playing him as that attacking midfielder slash CMF. So basically right up as far as we can go into a central midfielder position and just give him free license to be able to dictate the play dictate the play right so this is the build that we've gone for if you're looking for a defensive minded build um which is going to get you the highest rating right so you're going to have uh six eight six six eight twelve from left all the way down there with passing to defending you can see it down there with the player guide this guy is going to be a monster 90 aggression 92 defensive engagement while still hitting 84 balance 80 acceleration and 88 low pass right with 86 tight possession there is literally no way you can mess up this build because he's got 37 levels which is going to get you 72 progression points and also that he is one of the best players in the game regardless i mean he's a monster i definitely didn't see him getting 37 levels but to be honest with you it actually does change this card and it does change my prediction for him being one of the most broken cards in the game by a mile right now that's a defensive build but i actually wouldn't go with that this is the build i would go with lads right and i'll tell you a couple of reasons why the first one is we're going to go 5 6 10 10 10 0 4 right so we've popped nothing into aerial strength and only five into shooting here for an attacking build but look at the stats that we're going to get right Forget about the booster for a minute, right? As I said, focus on what makes this player good. Focus on where you want to play him and focus on what you want him to do. Then the booster is an addition to that and you can build and, you know, do it around him, right? But be careful with training players up now because of the free player reset is gone, okay? But 88 tight possession and low pass, including um, 88 balance, is going to make a massive change to this card. He's going to be so slick on the ball. Give him a couple of player skills if you can, but we're just taking it as straight up, lads, right? This is a phenomenal build. Try this build out. He's only 95 overall as a DMF, but we're going to be playing him as an advanced attacking center midfielder, and he's got everything you could possibly want in this card, right? And of course, when you go back to his booster, 
you are going to be getting curl low pass and lofted pass as well as kicking power upgraded. So you're going to have an insane card if you do shoot a couple of shots with him. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back later with a live stream. We had a busy weekend. We'll explain everything. A couple of big plans coming. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the chat. Peace.